In this video, we'll show you how to connect with customers via Marketing Cloud Mobile Studio to create, send, and track mobile messages. Engage with your customers through mobile channels like WhatsApp, SMS, and push notifications. Mobile Studio is a game changer for businesses looking to create personalized mobile-first experiences for their audience. Let's jump into the step-by-step -step demo. First, log in to your Salesforce Marketing Cloud account. Once logged in, hover over Mobile Studio from the main dashboard. As you can see, Mobile Studio is made up of many different tools like Mobile Connect and Mobile Push. Let's start by creating an SMS. Click on Mobile Connect from the Mobile Studio dropdown. And once the page loads, click Create Message. There are many templates to choose from. Some of the templates allow you to target data extensions, and other legacy templates only work with lists. If you're based in the US or Canada, MMS templates are also available. For our example, we will send a basic outbound SMS. Click the outbound message template and then hit Next. After you select the template, define the message properties. First enter a message name, then select your code. Your code is the phone number provisioned to your account. Different codes have different capabilities. For example, some codes allow for two-way communications, whereas others only allow for one-way. If in doubt, contact your account executive for clarification on the capabilities of your code. Next, select your from name. This is what customers will see displayed at the top of your message. Depending on the country, you may be able to set a custom from name. As the small print says on screen, adding a custom from name inhibits customer replies, which could in turn affect your unsubscribe process. To learn more about this, as well as other requirements, see this from names article on help.salesforce.com. If you wish to use a custom from name and have provided a way for subscribers to unsubscribe from future messages, then click I agree. Last, select your send method and click next. The next step is to select the audience. As you can see from the dropdown, you can either use a contact mobile list or a data extension. Data extensions must contain certain attributes or else they won't appear here. To learn more, hover over the gray text. For our example, we will use a data extension. Once you have selected the data extension, click Next. Next, confirm the subscriber opt-in. Customers must be marked as opted in within Marketing Cloud itself to receive SMS. So if you've already collected consent from your customers, that's great. Now you just need to technically opt them into the system so that Marketing Cloud can send them messages. Opt-ins are tied to specific keywords. You can create different keywords for different campaigns. However, if a customer is marked as not opted in to just one keyword, they'll be unable to receive any messages. If you've imported your mobile contacts and updated their opt-in status accordingly, you can choose Send only to contacts who are subscribed currently. Otherwise, choose to subscribe all contacts to a keywords and agree to the opt-in policy. Then, select an existing keyword from the drop-down and click Continue. After you define the audience, now the fun part starts, creating your message. Simply add the message copy. You can also use personalization strings and AMP script if needed. Be mindful of the 160 character limit. Personalized values or special characters like symbols or accents can quickly reduce your character count and aren't supported by some carriers. See our article on special characters for details. There are also some additional optional settings. If you use the calendar functionality, associate your message with a campaign. If you wish to test your message, enter the number below and click Perform Test. Most notably, we have the next keyword. So far, we've only discussed one-way communication. Depending on your code, it's also possible to have a conversation with your customer or two-way communication. For two-way communication, first set up an outbound message, followed by one or more text response messages. The text response messages are triggered by messages from customers containing specific keywords that we predefined in our account. Keywords are created in advance for true-false questions or other close-ended questions. For open-ended questions like, what's your email address? We take a different approach. 
This next keyword is appended to the unique response submitted by the customer. So even if each customer sends a different response, the same next keyword will still be in the response. This allows you to configure the text response message that follows. Finally, review your message confirmation and the advanced options. Once ready, set the schedule, and then click Send, and then Confirm. Now, let's see how your message is performing. From the Overview section, you can view message activity and delivery information. To view more info, click on the message. If an SMS contains non-branded shortened links, then the lifetime performance of that link can be viewed in the URL Tracking section at the bottom. To learn more about tracking shortened links, See this link tracking article on help.salesforce.com. For a deeper analysis of click data, add UTM parameters to the message and report on this data via a third-party tool like Google Analytics. Aside from click data, it's also possible to pull certain subscriber-level data by querying the SMS data views or by using data extracts in Automation Studio. Next, let's look at how Mobile Push sends push notifications to your mobile app users. Step one, navigate to Mobile Push. Hover over the Mobile Studio menu again, and then click Mobile Push from the dropdown. Step two, create a Mobile Push message. Click on Create Message to start crafting your push notification. Step three, select a template. For our example, we will use the basic outbound template However, you can even use a geofence or beacon message to target customers based on location. After you select the template, click Next. Step 4. Define the message properties. First, give your message a unique name for reference. Next, select your app. After that, select the Send method. And finally, select the Push method and then click Next. Step five, select the audience. You can use a mobile list or data extension. For our example, we'll target a data extension. As you can see, it's also possible to add an exclusion data extension. Once the audience is defined, click Next. Step six, define the content. To get started, first enter the title of the message followed by the subtitle. Then draft the message body and click Save. You can also add personalization strings to further personalize the experience for the customer. A preview of your message appears on the right. You can see how the message looks on different devices and in different scenarios, for example, on the lock screen versus as an alert. If you wish, you can also add rich media to your message, define the sound, and update the iOS badge count. You can even add custom keys to extend the features of the mobile app, such as tracking or metadata to better personalize the experience for the customer. To learn more about these features, hover over the info button beside them. We recommend that you associate the message with a marketing cloud campaign for reporting and organization purposes. Once you're ready, click Next. Step seven, review and send. Simply review the message and set the schedule. There are also advanced options to choose from, like Send Throttling. Once you're ready, click Send and then Confirm. After sending the push message, it's possible to view basic delivery and engagement info, like Sends and Open. You can view the performance of multiple messages at once from the Overview section. To see the performance of an individual message as a graph, or to modify the message, click on the message name. Additionally, if intelligence reports for engagement is included within your edition, you can take advantage of the dedicated dashboards for mobile push. Remember to continue monitoring your message performance to optimize for future sends. Here are three pro tips to enhance your mobile studio experience. Pro tip one, always A-B test. When sending messages, A-B testing can help you optimize your content and delivery times for better results. If sending via Journey Builder, use Path Optimizer for easy A-B testing. Pro tip two, personalization is key. Make your messages more engaging by personalizing them. Use customer data to tailor your content. Pro tip three, consistency matters. 
Maintain consistency in your messaging across different channels to build brand trust. To recap, in this video, we introduced Marketing Cloud Mobile Studio with a step-by-step -step demo of Mobile Connect and Mobile Push. Another feature, Group Connect, lets you extend personalized 1.1 customer journeys onto messaging apps like WhatsApp, Line, and Facebook Messenger. Check out help.salesforce.com for details and step-by-step -step instructions on Group Connect, the features demoed here, and all things mobile studio. And check out trailhead.com for learning modules like SMS messaging with Mobile Connect. For more information, visit help.salesforce.com or explore trailhead.salesforce.com. Thanks for watching.